Welcome to Bible Believers Fellowship and the ministry of BBFOhio.com as we begin a two-part discussion titled, The Muslim Problem. Our contact information for letters with testimonies, prayer requests, questions, or comments can be sent by email to BBBFOhio at Yahoo.com or you can send those by U.S. Postal to P.O. Box 662, Worthington, Ohio, 43. 43- 085. And we provided plenty of introduction as we begin this study as it was recorded on July 6, 2016 at BBF here in Worthington, Ohio. So with no further delay, let's join the study in progress titled The Muslim Problem. This is part one of two. Now, uh, I had been praying about doing a just uh, we call it a study, a discussion on the issue of Islam in America, um, because it's been a long time since we've discussed it. Other than hit and miss, it's constantly, probably for the rest of our lives, going to come up. But once in a great while, I think it uh, it comes to like we did with Roman Catholicism, actually, for I don't know how many weeks in Revelation 17, 18, really nail it down. And it's important, folks, that we're all, on most things, we need to be on the same page as the body of Christ, as a local church, as believers. We need to discuss things together, talk about them, be on the same page. And um, so I uh, started my work on the message, and then uh, I posted this on social media, and then I woke up in the morning (coughs) to find out that Facebook had banned me for posting that. Wow. Now, that is an absolutely true meme. These are all mass killers. None of them were members of the NRA. None of them are Christians. They are all radical Muslims. It's not a gun issue. It's a Muslim issue. And for Facebook to ban me or anybody else just proves to you that Mark Zuckerberg is a lying crook who has said that he wants social media where people can discuss issues and share ideas when in reality Mark Zuckerberg is a liberal fascist and he is pushing a sodomite agenda that includes this cultural diversity, multicultural, pluralistic idea that says that even though an ideology is a death cult, we are still supposed to embrace it. Now, we're going to look at Psalm 917. Psalm 917. But uh, as Americans, we've most, most all of us, if, if you went to public schools, but if you've watched the regular news media, um, and uh, read the typical history books and all that, you've been lied to. And um, the United States of America was founded by Christians. Um, And it was a Judeo-Christian foundation for this country. Not necessarily King James Bible fundamentalist in every, in, in most cases, when it comes to the founders. But even those who were theists or deists and not necessarily born-again Christians, they still recognized that the Bible was the foundation for this country, for sound government, and for a society that could flourish and prosper. Thomas Jefferson, folks, was no Christian. The man took the Bible and cut out all the miracles rejected the vicarious atonement and bodily resurrection of Jesus Christ. Not a Christian. And yet, Thomas Jefferson as president paid for the printing of Bibles to be used in the District of Columbia, or what they called Washington City, schools. So even those who weren't, wouldn't feel comfortable in this church among the founders, they held to the truth the kernel truth that the God of the Bible and the Bible itself was the supreme foundation.
for government, for families, and for society. Psalm 917 says this, read it with me. The wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. That is not a reference to Allah. Amen. That is not a reference to any other God than the God of the Bible. Amen. Amen. Embracing any other God is a violation of the first commandment That's true. Amen. and is forgetting God. Americans have embraced this idea that you can call God anything you want and approach Him any way you want, and that is satanic. Amen. God is holy. God is God. God makes the rules. God is the lawgiver. You approach Him and Him alone, no other God, and you approach Him on His terms. Amen. And the mass majority of Americans no longer believe that. They no longer do that. And that is behind this embracing of the Islamic death cult. Right. Islam is a problem. Amen. It's not an equal religion among religions Amen. in the world. Amen. And America is bringing it on herself. That's right. As I said, it took 66 million Americans to vote for a Muslim president right. and pretend that a man who uh, called changed his name so it would be Islamic, whose name was Barack Hussein Obama. He changed his name from Barry Sotero to Barack Hussein Obama. And most Americans are so blind and dense and spiritually dead that they would argue with you about whether or not he's a Muslim. Because he says, I'm a Christian. He's, he went to a church whose pastor damns America, Jeremiah Wright, and he gave no profession of being born again. And when asked, he said he believed Jesus was just a Savior and that there are many paths to God and that Allah is, a, is the true God as well as the God of the Bible. That's, he's on record, on video, on tape, saying all these things. And we elected that as we as a nation. And we get that. And now our president's ad administration is Muslim Brotherhood. The worst, most evil terrorist organization on the planet controls your executive branch government in America today. I'm not just, that's not just verbiage. Go look it up. The people that Obama has stacked in the administrations, put in the uh, Homeland Security and all that, they have ties to Muslim, the Muslim Brotherhood. Where does America stand? Proverbs 14.34, read that. Righteousness exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. America is not righteous. And we have not only embraced this death cult called Islam, but Sodom rules in America today. It's not an equal to you folks. I believe everybody in here would say you're heterosexual. You are a slave class. You now pay taxes to a Sodomite government who is using your tax money to push the sodomite agenda, to force children to be indoctrinated in government schools in the propaganda of Sodom, to open those schools up and force little girls to have to go to the bathroom with boys who say they identify as girls. Our federal government has now declared that in our military, transgenders can now cross-dress in the military. In other words, we used to laugh at Klinger on MASH. Right. And Klinger was trying to use the transgender thing as a reason to get out of the military. Now he'd fit right in. Right. <laughs> Islam and Sodom are the judgment of God on this nation, folks. Oh, I, I know it's, it's, it, it's going to get a lot worse and can get a lot worse, and I expect it to as long as the Lord tarries. But we're already under judgment. 
When a Gentile nation reaches a point of iniquity that is full, God wipes them out of their land. You're losing your country. You don't think so, just drive the other side of 161. Look around. We went to the Burlington Coat Factory and there wasn't anything but Muslims in the whole place. And listen, I'm not talking race here. I didn't say Arab. A lot of these people look like they were born and raised in America. But you could tell they're Muslim by the way they dress. One guy came out there and looked like he had a white sheet on from neck down. And just, I mean, if you put a hood on him, he thought he was KKK. But he did, he, all you could see was his head. And he had a, a big white sheet on, and these women were all covered up except for their faces. Think of, I mean, you can't explain this intellectually, folks. This is spiritual. The American women in this country fought for the right to walk around naked all the time and now they're embracing a death cult that says if you show anything but your eyeballs they'll cut your head off. Right. You can't explain that intellectually. And if you go to the home nations of Islam, the places where these people came from, I'm telling you, that's what happens. They're, they have beheaded women in Saudi Arabia for driving an automobile. They have beheaded women for not wearing the hijab, which is covering up everything but the eyeballs. And it's just, it, folks, if you don't believe in God, you've got to be completely mentally checked out right now because there's no other explanation for that but a spiritual blindness. <laughs> there's no other explanation. If you go back and look at Genesis 15, 16, you're going to see that God delayed Israel's entrance into the land and he says but in the fourth generation they shall come hither again and he says why right here for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full you see that God delayed the chosen uh, people of Abraham Isaac and Jacob and the, the tribes of Israel from going into the land because some of the people there had not reached the full limit of iniquity. But when they did, they were gone. Millions of people removed. And Americans are cocky and arrogant and don't think that they'll lose their country. We're almost full, folks. And I hold out hope that it's the rapture that is the icing on that cake. I hold out hope that the fullness of the iniquity happens when the remnant is removed. But as you see apostasy getting worse and worse and worse, you start to wonder. Again, I love what Jim said in your prayer. I'm not preaching fear, and I, I know what I'm preaching is reality. I think we have a long way to go in some ways. But like I said, we're already feeling the judgment. We're already seeing the judgment. And so Christians need to be aware and they need to start using wisdom. That includes where you live, folks. Uh, Jenny and I are moving to get out from underneath this liberal fascist tax system here <laughs> so we don't have to pay three times what most people pay for the taxation on their home. But some people I know have moved just because they couldn't even speak to the neighbors anymore because the neighbors don't know English. And I'm not talking about the Mexicans, by the way. I mean, uh, if, if a Mexican... By the way, if a Mexican... I don't know if any of them come here legally. I am not against legal immigration. But I'm against legal immigration when you haven't vetted the person and they come here to kill us. And I'm against illegal immigration in any case. Amen. And the fact that a neighbor moves in and doesn't know English real well doesn't that isn't the 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 you know that doesn't make me say I'll never deal with them, I'm done with it. No, but I'm saying when when you see all around, it's a totally different culture. It's a it's a different God. It's a different spirit. Yes. 
That's what I'm talking about. And America is evidently not quite full. But once the Amorites went too far, they were driven out of the land. America is being driven out of her land right now. The reason why the Donald Trump is the GOP nominee, folks, it isn't because Donald Trump was everyone's favorite. Right. He wasn't mine. I mean, I tell you right now, he wasn't my first pick. But the reason he won was because the other candidates wouldn't commit to doing what's right. And let's just be real. I'm going to name names and hurt feelings right now, but that includes all of them. That includes Rubio. That includes Rand Paul, who, was, who I supported. But even Rand Paul wouldn't come out. Cruz wouldn't either. So the reason you got Donald Trump is because enough people in this country know, are seeing the handwriting on the wall and saying something's got to be done. And so that's why you got the choice that you've got this <laughs> time around. Which, If you told me last year that it was going to be between these two people, I would have said, please tell me you're just joking. I mean, you know. <laughs> but uh, that's where we are. The driving force is ironically this apostate slash liberals. Now the reason why I put the slash in there is because someone might say it's redundant. But uh, there, there are some who are apostate and they're not complete liberals. In other words, there are some fiscal conservatives. F-I-S-C-A-L. Fiscal conservatives. That means that they are conservative when it comes to government spending, the size of government, those, those issues. And yet they are social liberals. And they, they support abortion, they support the Sodom marriage, and they support Islamic immigration and all that. And so you have apostates, and that, a lot, most of those people, you'll find out they're apostates. They, use, they come from Christian families, and now they're, they may still even go to church, but they don't claim to be born again. And they don't care about God's Word, and that's why they believe it's okay to kill a baby. And it's okay for two men, two women to be married and call it marriage and all that. And that's the driving force for what's going on in the country. Apostate Jews, and what do I mean by that? I mean, most Jews in this country do not recognize the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. And certainly only a tiny room that recognized Jesus Christ as Messiah. Right. But even among those who are not Christian, and claim to be Jew, very few of them believe the Torah. Yeah, that's, that's right. Most of the Jews, I believe, in this country are either agnostic or into uh, t uh, the Talmud or uh, into uh, what's the. Uh, no, um, what's the religion that M M Madonna and Kabbalah. some of these people are? Kabbalah. Kabbalah, yeah, there you go. And then you have, of course, apostate Christians and. And uh, we were talking about that earlier, but the, the majority of, of mainline denominations, including the American Baptist Convention, the uh, United Methodist, the Presbyterian Church USA, the Le Lutheran Church, or Evangelical Lutheran Church of America, the Presbyterian Church USA, the main Episcopalian branch, they're all gone. Amen. They don't preach the gospel, Amen. they don't believe the Bible, right. and they think you're a nut. And that's why we call them liberals, just to make it easy. That's what a liberal is. When you talk to someone who says, yeah, well, I'm a Christian, I go to church, and then you find that they don't believe in the blood, they don't believe in the resurrection, they don't believe in the rapture, they don't believe in heaven and hell in most cases. They, they think everybody just does the best and goes to heaven and kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya. A lot, what a lot of them, their favorite song is Imagine by John Lennon. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I want, I want to show you this clip uh, uh, or this little segment that I made. It's going to go up on the internet tonight. And uh, this just explains to you what has happened with me on Facebook and happening to Christians on Facebook. We got uh, alerted again tonight another uh, Christian's YouTube channel been shut down. And uh, folks, they're not calling for people to die. They're not Westboro Baptist types. They're just Bible-believing Christians. 
And they're being shut down by liberals in this country. And the more liberals come to power, the more your rights, your freedoms are going to disappear. Facebook has banned me, my personal Facebook account, for 30 days for posting this meme. It was posted on my personal page. It was posted on the Trail of Blood public page, Bible Believer Standing with Israel public page, and the BBFOhio.com public page, as well as a private page, a closed page, and another public page called The Catholic Church is Not a Christian Church. I believe it was from the posting on the Trail of Blood website that the post was reported and I was banned by Facebook for telling the truth. And folks, this is the truth. None of these people on this meme were members of the NRA. They're mass killers and they were all radical Muslims. If you want to see the complete lopsided statistics regarding Islamic terror from the Islamic death cult. Go to thereligionofpeace.com. Make sure you put the T-H-E, thereligionofpeace.com. Islam is a death cult. We don't have a gun issue. We have a Muslim issue. That meme is absolute truth. I'm not going to get into the fact that I believe uh, they are useful idiots for the New World Order and that the governments and uh, government elites are using Islam to push for their agenda of a basically a global martial law world order. But the fact remains they are willful idiots and they are taught by the example and teachings of their false prophet Muhammad to kill infidels and to conquer the world and set up a global caliphate. That's just a fact. And this meme is a fact. When I signed in this morning, I knew that uh, there was something going on because I don't normally have to use my password to get in on Facebook. And when I signed in using my password, this is the message I immediately received. We removed something you posted because it doesn't follow the fascist community standards. And this is my message that I posted with that meme because, and I'll explain why in just a moment, it says Facebook is scrubbing this. Save it and repost it. Truth. You see, when I first saw this meme, it was on the Federalist Papers public page, and I right-clicked to open it up so that I could save it myself and then also share it. Uh, and when I did, it said it had been removed. So that tells me I hit it right on the uh, noggin. I mean, I was at the very time that it was being taken down because when I clicked on that page and I saw it, it wasn't 15 seconds later that I opened it up in another window and it was gone. So I took a screenshot and cropped it. And that's when I posted it on my page and those other, and other pages. And so I clicked continue. I did not read their fascist community standards. And then I got this message. You're temp temporarily blocked from posting. This temporary block will last 30 days, and you won't be able to post on Facebook until it's finished. You've repeatedly posted things that aren't allowed on Facebook. Read the fa fascist community standards to learn what kinds of posts aren't allowed. Shove it in your ear, fascist book. Shove it in your ear, Mark Zuckerberg. You see, I feel sorry for Zuckerberg. I mean, he's got these billions of dollars, and he's a servant of Satan. He serves Sodom and Gomorrah, and he serves political correctness, and he serves the New World Order, and he protects the Islamic death cult. He's a wicked man. And if he doesn't repent, he's going to burn in hell. That, you know, that keeps me from being able to be real angry at the fool. How can you get angry at somebody who's going to spend eternity wailing and gnashing his teeth? 
He's going to be in hell until judgment day. He's going to be brought up before a great white throne and all of his works and all this clean image that he's tried to put out there be washed away. And the world is going to see Mark Zuckerberg for the wicked, despicable man that he is. And if he, is, if he dies without Jesus Christ, if he does not repent toward God with faith toward the Lord Jesus Christ, believing how that Christ died for his sins according to the Scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures, then Mark Zuckerberg will go to hell. He will be brought before a great white throne. All of his works will be uh, laid out for the entire uh, collection of humanity, all the holy angels, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost to see. And then he'll be cast into a lake of fire where the smoke of Mark Zuckerberg's torment will ascend forever and ever. It's kind of hard to get mad at a guy when you see that that's where he's heading. And when it says you've repeatedly posted things that aren't allowed on Facebook, and I mentioned that Zuckerberg is a servant of Sodom, I, this is what got me banned previously. But I posted this, homosexuals choose sexual sin. That's a fact. You weren't born gay, you were born wicked. And in your wickedness, instead of repenting toward God with faith toward your Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, the homosexual has chosen to give in to this perverse, wicked lust for the same sex. And we urge them to choose life instead because it's a death style. It's not a lifestyle. The so-called gay lifestyle is a death style. And most people who choose that lifestyle, those who live it out the way the typical sodomite does, is going to die young. Jesus died for your sin, was buried and rose from the dead. That's a fact. Believe on him and be saved. If you will, you will be saved. Amen. That's a fact. There's nothing on that meme. By the way, that's a street sign. That's a screenshot of a street sign that we hold on the street when we street preach. And uh, the last time I held this, well, it wasn't the last time, but one of the uh, incidences where I held this sign on the street was the day that they legalized sodomite marriage in America. And one of the sodomites tried to drive up on the sidewalk and run me over. If my wife hadn't yelled uh, for me to get out of the way, uh, he could have hit me. I don't know what my reflexes would have been otherwise, but I, because she yelled, I looked and saw him and I backed off and I used the sign and actually put the sign down on the car as he went by. Sodomites love death, and Mark Zuckerberg loves death. They're wicked, wicked people. And so that's what got me banned one of those times, when, and that's why the sign says um, that you have repeatedly posted things that aren't allowed on Facebook. So my point is this. And, you know, it's no consequence that Greg Miller's banned off Facebook. You can still get a hold of me at uh, our web page and send us a message and the the point is that we're dealing with a fascist uh, philosophy called liberalism liberals are fascists liberalism is fascism if Hillary Clinton is elected she will put a liberal on the Supreme Court and all these hate crime laws that have been struck down as violations of the First Amendment will finally be made law and it'll be nationally and so then people like me who go out and preach against this wickedness preach against Sodom preach against Islam will be imprisoned will be fined and imprisoned for solid King James Bible preaching and teaching along with the encouragement of the Psalms hymns and spiritual songs Tune in to our internet radio station available every day, 24 hours a day, at bbfohioradio.com. Join listeners from over 150 nations, all 50 U.S. states, and other U.S. territories who are tuning in and receiving free Bible teaching at bbfohioradio.com.